can smell toast. Is someone having a stroke? No. Just making toast. Oh, good. Also, no, 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 that's not how it works. It doesn't mean someone else is having a stroke. Burnt toast isn't like an aroma that stroke victims give off. It means you're having a stroke. Oh, what? No, I don't mean now. I'm making to... We've just been through this. Since when are you such a hypochondriac? Well, I wasn't big on it until this year. And then it grew on me. And now I can't get it out of my head. Why are you talking about it like it's a song? It's just the same thing. Day in and day out. Sugar, yes please. No, no, that's not a stroke. That's Maroon 5. Is that not the same thing? No, it's not. Well... What is... What are you doing? They say when you're having a stroke, you can't feel your arms because of numbness, so... So you put your arms up every time you smell toast? What if it's you that's making toast? Then the same thing. Because even then, there's like a one in a million chance that I could still have a stroke when making toast. <laughs> what? You can't distinguish between life-threatening illness and breakfast. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see who's laughing when you have a stroke. Well, no one, hopefully. Put your arms down. This is all in your head. The smell is just bread getting hotter. Mm. Oh, what? You don't believe me? Agree to disagree. There's more to breakfast smells than you might think. For example, if you smell bacon, that means the police are around. That is offensive to our hard-working police force. And so what? You're not a criminal. Let's just say they haven't been working very hard recently. Either way, if they do show up, you're definitely going to look suspicious. What about the Black Death? Not sure what you're asking me. I don't think it's an issue anymore. I wouldn't rule it out. Give it time. Would you a new plague? Would you... The bubonic plague? They say you smell eggs benedict when you've got it. Who said that? And when? Or maybe it was eggs florentine. You are going to give me an aneurysm. Can you smell homemade blueberry pancakes? No! And it wouldn't matter if I could because you just made that up. There is no connection between those two things. Jack, this stuff worries me. And what if I'm right? I could smell pastry and break both my arms. Coincidence. And what if it starts affecting other senses? Feel a hash brown, get the flu. Unrelated. What if I start hearing jam? What if? Before I have. All right. I'm not talking to you anymore. Oh, really? You're not real. You're just a coping mechanism gone wrong. How's your friend Jack? You don't talk about him. We'll see. Next time he's hungry. It's all in your head. Hello groovy people of the internet, my name is Jack Howard. And I'm Dean Dobbs. We hope you liked that video. If you did, you can like it and then you can leave a comment telling us why you liked it. Probably amazing, Phil. And then you can subscribe for more videos in the future that you like. And if you're thinking, I don't like future laughs, you can click here and see our past videos and do past laughs instead. Mm, that's, a good, that's a good button to click if you're new here. So clever. That's a very good button. It's good. Now get out of my house. Uh, okay. I don't mean you, I mean them. Alright, sorry. Actually, no, you can go as well. Okay.